Hi, this is Dan in here and I'm with X Special from TSM and we want to just go over all the season 4 changes. And so some of the things we're going to be talking about today is um, the support changes and it's a much discussed issue lately. So can you tell me a little bit about the support changes for season 4? Not sure about much discussed, but it's been a pretty hot topic when I was at Riot and uh -huh. they were explaining to me um, just the overhead uh, the ideology behind all the changes. Mm -hmm. And one of the big issues was supports. And they kind of branched out into just support gold in general and then vision. Mm -hmm. So I think we probably better talk about supports first. Yeah. And um, supports, so in season two, even season three, a lot in season three, supports kind of get you know, the boots, the sites done, uh -huh. the, boots, the, sites the wards, the oracles, and that's it. Yeah. Maybe one go for 10 if you're lucky. Yeah, it's sort of like you get wards or if you have extra gold, you get like an R item. You would rarely ever get into even a reverie and that's only, you know, 1400 gold beyond the field stone. Uh -huh. So they wanted to make it so supports get more gold uh -huh. and supports are able to build items, uh, you know, to respond to enemy play. Uh -huh. And they kind of felt that, you know, Every other role can build items to counter and supports just kind of get stuck with nothing. Okay, so uh, what kind of system are they putting in place so supports can get more gold? So what they're doing is actually, I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, they're adding gold not just in one specific area, mm -hmm. forcing supports to just do that. They're putting lots of gold in lots of different areas and making it so, you know, even if you don't go a certain mess, you're not going to suddenly lose all a bunch of gold. So what they're doing is, they're adding more gold in main uh -huh. by um, by uh, just having more gold uh, over time and having slightly less gold through minions. Mm -hmm. um, they're also putting it in as a mastery where you get a little bit of gold each time uh, your ally last hits. Mm -hmm. And they're also increasing pickpockets effectiveness, yeah. not just for range but also for melee by making it be a gold on assist instead of um, perhaps a gold on, you know, on auto attack landed, yeah. Since it was a big difference between melees and so, uh, range for uh, that, and go pretends not only do a lot of go pretend items uh, can continue to keep the go pretend after you upgrade it, uh -huh. go pretend just gives you more gold in general. Yeah. So combined, that's a lot of freaking gold. And yeah. there's also, I believe, assist. Assist breeze. So when you get a lot of assists and you don't die, you get a lot more gold than before. Like they're trying to balance supports by having every support scale well. Mm -hmm. That way, it doesn't get crowded out. <laughs> yeah. And by they're trying to do so by uh, doing certain like adding perhaps slows that scale, you know, uh -huh. ratios that scale not just with not just to damage or health, but like you know AD on John Shield scale and stuff like that. They're trying to, I think one of the suggested changes is um, there's going to be a change on vision. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit more about that. So in season three, vision was primarily the sports job. You know, uh -huh. When you're get, getting ready for a Baron, a Dragon, even team fights, or, or if you're trying to push down mid, supports would have you know five or six boards all around the area, and it was a, it was the sports job, and that kind of made supports get really far behind in terms of levels, I mean, not levels, but gold. Yeah. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a limit mm -hmm. on how many wards you can have. And that's going to make it so that everyone has to contribute to the ward game. Yeah, so it's not just a support buying the wards, so it's going to free up more gold for the support so they can buy more other items. Right, and one big thing they're also doing is, right now, the ward of pink, uh, the pink ward game is essentially Whoever has more pink wards mm -hmm. wins that game. And by making pink wards visible, um, it creates the pink ward an area of contention, and contention mm -hmm. at all times. Whenever the pink wards drop down, it's a place of contention versus yeah. only contended when there's only a, uh, when you have a pink ward. So, so let, yeah. let me clarify this. So when you drop a pink ward, it's gonna reveal invisible units, but everybody can see it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much exactly how it is. Okay, that works. <laughs> no, everyone can see the pink ward. 
Uh -huh. The pink ore itself is a visible, it's not, it's not a stealth board anymore. Okay. And it still reveals everything, but obviously the enemy team can destroy the pink ore before you can you know, do anything with the pink ore. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Did it, is it really? said no. Oh, my bad. And then you no, I thought you meant it. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. Can okay. edit it out. Yeah, okay. you can be, you can dick around. I'll, I'll, no, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll respond to it. Yeah, 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 that's pretty much exactly how it is. Okay, that works. <laughs>